Hi, my name is Cassandra Kessler, and I'm a 10th grade teacher at Henry Ford High School. My name is Maggie Ramos, and I'm a 9th grade teacher at Henry Ford, and together we work on Henry Ford's instructional leadership team with Ms. Lewis. And we just wanted to talk to you today about the SCL implementation process and some changes we've seen at our school due to SCL. Um, so student, SCL stands for Student Centered Learning, and it's the EIA's instructional model. And every teacher in the EAA spent uh, the entire month of August learning all about student-centered learning as a model and how we were going to roll it out and implement it in our schools. But when it came time for the school year to start and teachers got in their classroom, at the high school level most teachers fell back to the traditional model, which they're used to because they were very overwhelmed and they couldn't kind of figure out how student-centered learning fit in their classroom. So. Um, I was pretty determined to make it work. I was like, um, you know what, we're going to try it, we're going to see what happens. And I kind of didn't know how it was going to go, but I tried. I believed it was going to work. So um, I started meeting with Miss Lewis uh, on my prep period um, every day and started planning out kind of how student center learning was going to look, how their centers were going to look, how I mean, how everything was going to look, what the classroom was going to be designed, what the students were going to be doing, things like that. So, I started, like I said, I met with her at our prep period for probably about a week or two, and then we decided to roll it out in my classroom. So, we started pretty simple with um, the basics. Like, we had two centers, and we would put a timer up on the board, and they would have, you know, 20 minutes at each center, and they would switch. And... We started with one center, would be they made their portfolio, another center they were working on maybe like um, a small thing like a current event project or something related to my curriculum. And then as they got better with that training with switching and moving, we started adding, I would add like a third center and then a fourth center and then I gave them more freedom where they didn't have the timer anymore and they kind of moved at their own pace. So. Um, like I, Miss Lewis and I like to call it, it was, we really started training the kids on learning at their own pace, because they've never been allowed to do that before, and so we started doing that. You can jump in if you want any points to fill in. <laughs> well, what I wanted to talk to you about today was um, the reason why I started using SCL in my classroom. Um, it was basically because I had five years experience in a different inner city school district, and I thought that I had pretty strong classroom management skills. And then I got to Henry Ford and was surprised to find out that those skills weren't so strong here. So I saw that Cassie was doing a really good job in hearing things about how SEL changed her classroom. And so I thought, this is my only hope. Like, I have to do this or, or this isn't going to go well for the rest of the year. So I started implementing SEL a lot of the, in a lot of the same ways that Cassie and Miss Lewis did. Um, and so what I saw was a complete change in the students' behavior. Um, before, they really didn't want to stay focused on one object or myself in the room or one idea. Um, they, they were very distracted by things. And um, so what happened when SEL came into our classroom was that they became much more focused and task-oriented on whatever whatever station they were at and whatever assignment they had. And so their behavior has changed tenfold. Um, they are organized, they're purposeful when they get up in the classroom. Um, they help each other a lot more. And also um, their motivation has changed. The um, tracker, the where am I board in my room, has completely changed the kids into intrinsic, intrinsically motivated kids. And so they work hard for each of those learning targets and they harass me for their stickers until they get it. So SEL has changed my classroom and my kids for the better, and my teaching. Yeah, I mean, I agree with all those things. Um, so I also want to touch a little bit, um, student-centered learning, we're making it sound like, oh, it was this great thing um, that, like, Ms. Ramos and I jumped on board and every other teacher jumped on so board, easy. and, like, it was so easy. <laughs> But, I mean, we had a lot of pushback at the beginning from teachers who were like, we don't believe you. Like, there's no way that that kid is doing that in your room. And we would say kids that were having, like, specific kids that were having these transformations. So we really started bringing the 
bringing um, you know, teachers around to our rooms, and we encourage classroom visits, and we encourage teachers to start collaborating with each other. And I think really that's why that student-centered learning as a model is just thriving at Ford, because our teachers are just so open with collaborating with each other. Professional with, development. Know, yeah, they want to work with each other. When Ramos, when Mrs. Ramos has a really good idea, she wants to share it with me and ask me, like, oh, what do you think about this? How can I change? And I do the same with her. Because and, we, okay. and the cool thing at Henry Ford is that a lot of teachers take someone's idea and make it their own. And that is something that I think is really unique to us. So as far as a model and seeing, you know, how it came from, like, Miss Lewis being like one of the few people that believed in it to now, you know, our entire school, um, you know, kind of turning around. I really can't wait to see where it goes in the future. Um, and we really want to keep the momentum rolling here at Ford. So.